everything. Hey guys, we are back in Free Code Camp. We are working on those intermediate algorithm uh, section and it's bonfire search and replace. So what's going on here? In this case, we have a my replace function that takes in a string. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. We then find the word jumped and then we replace it with our afterwards. So this is jumped, this is leaped, and this is our string. So eventually we wanted to print out a quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Um, they give us some cool, helpful links. Splice, string.replace is what I end up using. So let's go ahead and just get started with that. So the way um, string.replace works is you just select the before word and the after word, and then it will, it will replace it. So um, pretty simple, but it's not uh, complete. But let's go ahead and get started there. So we're just going to reset our original string that's going in. in and we're going to say it's equal to itself after we replace the before word the jumped with the leaped word oop, the after word so it's going to save that and now when we run it you can see right here some of this works but we see oh man why isn't some of this working and it's kind of for a bs reason so what's actually going on here is they want us when we receive a lowercase s if the word that it started with had a capital s they want us to return it capitalized so how do we do that without upsetting everything? So this works for 90% of the stuff. But what we're going to do is an if statement for this case. And we're going to say if uh, for our before word, because that's what we're checking if it's capitalized, for the character at 0, where it starts, is exactly equal to our before word, in this case jumped, or uh, we'll, we'll say uh, sleeping and sitting. So if it's equal to itself, but that first character is capitalized, so dot to uppercase, we want to do some stuff. So let's go over this if statement. If our first word, for the first letter of our first word is the same as itself, but capitalized, it's already capitalized and we can move on. And that, that's exactly what we need. Else... Ignore it because everything's lowercase and we don't need to worry about those one in a, uh, a million, not one in a million, but the, those uh, easier things to solve. So what are we going to do here? We're going to use replace again, but we're just going to have to kind of get a little tricky with how we set it up. So the we're still going to be moving on the before word, but now how are we going to change this? So the way I did this where I, I selected our afterword and the character at zero and we wanted to bring it to uppercase but if we just end it there let's go ahead and put a semicolon and we can end it here you can see for oh and then fix this dot char at so if we just fix if we just did this here let's go ahead and use this string, we can see that we'll probably only be replacing the letter. So he, he is S. Yeah, it's capitalized, but it's not exactly good. So if you remember back, there's something called slice, where you can slice off part of the word. So how many do we want to slice? In this case, we want to slice the word after by one. So now what's going to happen is, let's go ahead and take this out so we can see the before and after. So. If we take our original afterward and slice it by one, it's going to slice off the first letter. So here we have itting. So all we have to do is add that with this, and we're good to go. And there we go. And that's it. So let's go ahead and write some comments in here real quick so we can see what's going on here. So here we ch we'll say check if first letter is capitalized. Uh, and here we change uh, after to be capitalized. And then we just replace um, before word, before string is better, with after string. And that's it. So I hope you guys found this helpful for search and replace and uh, as always don't forget to like and subscribe constructive criticism is appreciated and if you solve this a better way you know let us know in the comments below see you guys next time
thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want to see more. And also check out my new series, Let's Talk Code. It's going to have programming news, tips and tricks, a little bit of tech, and just a little bit of my own personal hobbies and preferences. So if you enjoy that, go ahead. It's very casual. Check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.